In today's video, we're going to be talking about some gaming stuff first. Now, you're looking at a live feed from my Elgato HD capture. I'm going to be covering some articles, but you're looking at what I see on my TV right now. Uh, so, I want everybody to know I do have access to the Need for Speed uh, closed beta. I have not played it yet. I want everybody to know because EA does not want us to share any pictures or gameplay. So, since I can't share that information with you, there will be no other way to letting you know that I have the beta except for starting out this video like this. Uh, I do want to issue a challenge to Next Gen 720 and Crap Gamer. Uh, show the gaming community your collection. Show us that you actually play games and not just shooters or bro games. Please show us that you are gamers because the whole YouTube gaming community looks at you guys like you're a fucking joke, like you're frauds. And I believed it way before a lot of you other guys have believed it. So please show us your game collection. Uh, you do have a very challenging opponent in me, uh, being a real gamer compared to you two. Uh, already this week I posted a gameplay for Hardware Rivals, Dungeon Defenders 2, God Eater Resurrection, and Nathan Drake's Collections demo. I posted a gameplay for Need for Speed, which is okay, I will play it in my private time. Uh, before I get started, I just want to show you guys my community, just in case you want to join it for whatever reason. Uh, I have just joined the official Star Wars Battlefront community, which is 6,000 members strong. Kind of funny uh, community, once again, like I said, it's gaining up there to the 10,000 mark. It's at 9,194 members strong. The Uncharted Worldwide community is already maxed out at 10,000 members strong. Uh, the PlayStation Nation All-Stars is at 246 members, and Team 100 is at 29 members. Uh, so... Like I said before, you got my profile picture that is on my YouTube channel, and then you also have um, my message of the day, and the background is made up of the collection of games I've been uh, piling together, uh, which looks awesome once, it com once it's completed. Uh, I know that Sony has a, a conference today of sorts. We're going to go uh, out of here real quick, uh, and I just want to show you guys what's going on uh, in gaming. We're first going to start out with the fact that if you guys didn't know it or not, and Xbox fans don't want to admit it, they cannot play music in the background on Xbox One. Yes, I, I understand. You could do it on the classic Xbox. You could do it on the Xbox 360 when the PS3 couldn't do it until the PS3 got the update where it could do that. And the PS4 can do it out the box. Xbox One cannot do it. Phil Spencer replied to a fan... And he said that it's not really their priority right now. They're doing other work. But he does like the feature. But it's not his priority right now. They want to do other work. So they're going to keep updating the Xbox One. And make it more or less like a computer. Especially with that Windows 10 update. But they're not going to give you the ability to play music in the background. And when you guys do get it. I do expect you not to hype it up. Because it's only going to make you look stupid. Now, we're actually going backwards on the news. Uh, we're going to be covering the Japanese news in just a little bit. But if you wanted to see some brand new No Man's Sky gameplay from this past Friday that was on October 2nd, uh, 2015, uh, the same stage that Morgan Freeman was on, the same stage that Stephen Colbert was on, Sean Murray showed off brand new gameplay demonstration of No Man's Sky that nobody has ever saw before. And I tell you one thing, it is beautiful. You don't need to pay to look at this demonstration. You don't even need it to be at the PlayStation Experience or E3 or even a Tokyo Game Show. All you have to do is click this link. I'm not getting any money for this. I just want to help the gaming community out, especially the PlayStation gaming community. Because I nobody wanted to talk about this. I let you guys have your time. Whoever makes YouTube videos, I let you guys have your time on fucking Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Wednesday, Monday of all this past week. Nobody wanted to share this information that uh, Sean Murray was going to be on the, tonight, uh, the late show with Stephen Colbert. I made sure I put the information out on Facebook as well as Twitter. Nobody else wanted to inform the gamers. So if you go click the appropriate link in the description, you will see the uh, gameplay demonstration that was a pretty lengthy one, uh, and it was pretty epic too. So we're going to get to the Japanese news. I think I talked to you guys before about Dragon Quest Builders. 
uh, which is like a Dragon's Quest game with Minecraft in, in mind. Uh, I'm going to go through some pictures. I'm going to show you what it's about. And I want your judgment in the description. Now, off the bat, it already looks better than Minecraft. Uh, but yes, you can see that it has Minecraft in mind. But it's not pixelated my, like Minecraft. So far that I know right now, I do not have any information of the game being multiplayer. I do not. But as you can see from this uh, this picture right here, you can create amazing structures. And it's all up to you. So it's pretty damn cool. Um, a lot of people saying it's a Zelda ripoff, although we can clearly see it's Dragon Quest mixed with fucking Minecraft. And uh, if you know anything about Dragon Quest, some characters really do look like that. Um, so it's pretty badass. Uh, I can't wait for it to come out, and I will be getting a day one. I've been always intrigued into Minecraft, but due to the fact that Microsoft paid, what, $3.5 billion for Minecraft, I will not be supporting that game with my wallet ever. Uh, so I will be seeing you guys later when we're talking about this game. Uh, but over uh, while I was sleeping in Japan, they announced a brand new Sword Art Online game exclusive to the PS4 and PS Vita. So for anybody who keeps saying the Vita is dead, uh, you're fucking stupid. We're going to cover that in just a tad bit. Um, so this game is on the PS4 and PS Vita, uh, and it's called um, Sword Art Online Hollow Realization. And it's a pretty damn awesome game. The trailer is attached inside this link. And if you watch it, you will see brand new gameplay towards the middle of the uh, video. It looks amazing. It has a limited edition PS4 right here. It comes in white and black. It's going to be bundled with the game. Uh, they say the game is going to be coming out. Uh, what is this? I don't know. Oh, they say you can start pre-ordering it. I believe they say you can start pre-ordering it next month. Uh, no, that's this month. I think they say 10-5. I think they said 10-5. I'm pretty sure it says 10-5, so maybe that's October 5th. Uh, so that will actually be tomorrow on a Monday that you can start pre-ordering it if you live in Japan. Here's a better uh, picture of the bundle right here, and here's a real picture of it right here. Looks amazing. Uh, the one thing I wanted to really talk about while we're talking about this conference that Sony's having in Japan as we speak, or before I spoke, uh, is the bundles that are over at the PS4, they have designs on them, not just different colors, and that brings the value up. Also, due to the fact that Sony didn't do massive amounts of price cuts, cutting the value of what the console is worth, like Microsoft did last year with over 170 dollars worth of fucking price cuts uh so speaking of microsoft i know we just went over all this japanese news and you know it's you're supposed to see it from playstation but microsoft is in japan at the same time that sony's in japan having their little conference um and they're showing a lot of fucking multi-plots a lot of americanized games listen what they're showing over to japan that you clearly know they don't really love they don't have a single japanese rpg before i read off this list japanese rpgs sell more in japan than americanized games we all know that and microsoft does not have any japanese rpg support on the xbox one in japan let alone the united states so we got, and I'm going to list off only the American ones that nobody can give two shits about in Japan. NBA 2K16, Mad Max, uh, MotoGP uh, 15, uh, Tomb Raider. Uh, nobody really cares about that shit in Tomb Raider. If it, people want to say they care about females in, Tomb, um, in Japan, yes they do. And they got more than enough Japanese RPGs with females to care less about Tomb Raider than you guys really think they do. A rare replay. Nobody can give two shits about that. They're also demoing Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, I don't know what that is. Forza Six. Nobody can give two shits about that. Uh, they got Cuphead. I don't think anybody gives two shits about this. Earth Wars. Never heard of that title. But I will uh, see if I can go do some research on it. Because it seems like it might be a new exclusive. And I will have to go put that on the other list that I was compiling in an earlier part of this year. Uh, so, when you really see all of this, Microsoft can't do background music. They're still trying to fight in Japan even though they're failing. Sony is... Let's look, let's look at this crowd 
and let's look at the fucking line of people. If whoever was trying to say that Microsoft has a fighting chance, they should have captured a bulk amount of people inside the building. And they couldn't. They just could not. Look at this line. This is what we have to look forward to that might be inside that fucking building. And look at all of this. The front row going straight across alone, right there, is more people than that's in that fucking line. Let alone the, the all the other people and then the people that it didn't capture. Like this guy or this head for this guy or that guy. What I'm trying to say right now, it is pretty fucking embarrassing that Microsoft is going down the way they're trying to go down. Uh, and they're trying to fight Sony in Japan and it looks fucking retarded on their end. There's no amount of money they can throw at Japan to make people like this console anymore. It's just not going to happen. Not when they can't secure Japanese RPG exclusives, such as Sword Art Online, the newest version. You can't secure that shit. And, and when you can't secure it and you can't secure games like Dragon Quest Builders, which you know is going to sell like hotcakes. Uh, by the way, we do have Minecraft, although I'm not supporting it. And uh, Dragon Quest Builders is like Dragon Quest mixed with Minecraft. It's going to fucking sell. Trust me, it will. It's just no chance. It's no fucking chance. And uh, this this is pretty funny because as as you guys remember, Mooch said this game doesn't need any more exposure. How much more exposure can you get by being on the late show with Stephen Colbert with a live studio audience watching as well as thousands of people up at that night, maybe even millions of people up at that time of night watching this show? So, uh, yeah, guy, I think you kind of fucking lost on that one. This game is going to be bigger than you even fucking know. You can call it indie garbage all you fucking want. Uh, but I know a lot of people that are going to support this title. And Stephen Colbert is fascinated by it. Watch the video if you don't believe me. I'll be talking to you guys a little bit later. PlayStation.